We're talking women's college basketball now as the NCAA Women's Basketball Oversight Committee is considering changes within the sport related to branding and participation opportunities. Two major changes are being considered, with the first being March Madness branding being used during the Division I Women's Basketball Tournament. March Madness branding has been traditionally associated only with the men's tournament. In addition, the committee plans to explore the structure of the women's tournament with possible expansion to 68 teams, as well as changes to the timing of the tournament and the Final Four. So some potential big moves happening to start to kind of close that gap a little bit between men's and women's top basketball. It's needed, you know, um, I would think, I would say, because uh, it's, it's getting more recognized than it used to uh, be, you know. So and they need um, you know, definitely some, some of their own branding because it's, uh, you know, unfair to them, I think, uh, the way they're doing it right now. Yeah, this is something that's been talked about um, for a while now. Um, you know, last season with some things that happened, you know, this started to become more and more of a focus. And, you know, this is something that they're addressing right now. And, you know, I would like to see it happen. You know, I think they should do it by next season. If not, then definitely the season after that. But, um, yeah, they need to do a lot more branding with it and, um, and just make it equal on both sides. Absolutely. I think what this past tournament really showed was they need to close the gap and everything that was exposed with the weight room disparity and everything there and everything that the tournament provided for the men's tournament as opposed to the women's tournament. It was very, very tough to see for women's basketball players, everyone associated with the sport, because this is big time college basketball as well. This needs to be branded as March Madness as well. And I'm excited to see that along with the possible expansion to 68 teams. You know, you have 64 teams that gets into the tournament for the women every year, as opposed to 68 for the men with the first four. So if you can add that in, just knock those two things out, it's going to make it a lot more equal. It's going to make it feel uh, like it's a lot more equal. So I'm, I'm excited to see the moves and how they take place and when they take place. This was just announced that this is being discussed right now by the Oversight Committee. I think it needs to be pushed through very soon. The deadline is very early November. I expect this to get done well before then. So big, big changes coming to the sport of NCAA women's basketball with some branding changes to the tournament. And, and the third thing that we talked about there was the timing of the tournament, the Final Four, having it not conflict as much with the men's. Said, OK, we got the men's. This is their time. This is their tournament. And then we got the women's. And this is when they're going to be on. And that's also going to be a very important aspect. So very, very big stuff going on in NCAA women's basketball. And check us out on all of our social platforms for more information on all this.